Hey, C3 family. Now, before I get the bad emails, before I get people upset, just know I was only in the parking lot. That's why I didn't have my helmet on. It's right there on the back, so we're good. We wanted to let you know, maybe a little creatively, um, what to expect if you decide to come on June 14th at 1030 for our regathering service with social distancing. So we thought it'd be just as easy to do a walkthrough for you rather than try to explain it with me standing in one place. So what you're going to experience when you first show up and you park in the parking lot, as you walk in toward the sanctuary doors, you'll come to a table. A table much like this, uh, where my dear friend Bethany is right now, sanitizing herself to her heart's content. You'll be able to sanitize yourself as well. And uh, you'll see some signage here that gives you directions on what to do. You don't have to take advantage of this, but you certainly can if you want to. After you're done with that, you're going to find your way toward these front doors. You'll see a little sign there that says, let your smiles be contagious, not your handshakes. Smiling and waving is encouraged. Introverts, you're welcome. But if you're one of those people who's like, my goodness, I can't wait to hug people, we're going to ask you to hold off on that a little bit. When you come through these main doors, they'll be propped open. Uh, you'll be greeted by uh, someone much like this young man. Hey, Joe, welcome to C3. Come hey, thanks, Jordan. I appreciate it. You'll come on through these main doors, and uh, you'll see somebody here greeting you, but obviously with social distancing in place. And uh, you'll head from here. Where? Where do I go next? Joe. Door number three. Okay, you'll see the doors are all numbered. Starting over here, the doors one, two, three, four, and five. Based upon wherever Jordan, or if somebody different has to be standing here, tells you to go, you'll head to that door where you'll be greeted by someone. But before we get there, I want to show you a couple other things. So, hey, we've got another hand sanitizing station. Melinda is doing a great job demonstrating. What are you looking for? Oh, no, those are rocks. You can't eat those, Melinda. Yeah, next time maybe. There are not going to be any snacks for you. So if you're worried about your breath not being as fresh as it should be, grab a snack before you come. Grab some gum, something like that. I also need to let you know, before we get over here to this guy, that if you want to head down this way, Joy, what are you doing? I'm going to get a drink. We've gone over this. You can't get a drink today. There's plexiglass there. So unfortunately, if you're one of those people who thinks, I can't make it through church without hydrating, bring a water bottle with you. We're going to let you bring it in, and that's going to help you make it through. So once we've bypassed all that, once we're good there, we're going to come up here, and we're going to see some handsome fellow who's going to give us some instructions. What do I need to know, Jeff? Good morning, Joe. Come on in, and let's get you seated. All right, come on with us, I guess. Now, as you come in, you'll notice that there's some, there's some blue tape on several of the different pews. And if you see blue tape, that is not an invitation for you to take the tape off, much like you're unwrapping a present. That means do not go where you see blue tape. But if you see a pew that doesn't have blue tape, perhaps... Yeah, this is the one? Oh, okay, fantastic. Well, I, I appreciate that. I want to stay standing because I'm giving the instructions. But you'll see somebody like Jeff who will be standing here giving you instructions if you come with your family. Um, these lovebirds over here, they've already been seated. You, you'll have somebody who will direct you where you're supposed to go. And uh, when they give you that spot for you or you and your family to sit, we're just going to ask you to stay put. Uh, ask you not to get up and mill around and things like that just so we can observe the social distancing guidelines that we feel like we need to keep in place. If we happen to fill up down here in the lower levels of the sanctuary, uh, we'll have an opportunity to actually go up to the, uh, to the balconies. We've already roped those off as well, taped those off so we know where we need to be. And uh, then what you'll see uh, once you get here is a pretty typical Sunday morning. You'll see Shane up here uh, rocking away with his chili pepper guitar strap, uh, leading us in worship. And you'll see me giving you the Word of God. Uh, hopefully it'll be something that'll be inspiring to you. Uh, but before we're done with this little walkthrough, I just want to let you know a couple of things. Um, you may have noticed that all of our staff who were volunteering and even some of our folks sitting in the pews, uh, they were wearing masks. And you may say, do I have to wear a mask? Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to ask you to wear a mask. And uh, we're also going to ask you to maintain social distancing guidelines. Now, you may be saying as you're listening to this video, oh, you're going to ask me, does that mean if I don't, you're going to kick me out of church? We're going to ask you to wear a mask. And you may be saying, oh, wait, he didn't say he's going to kick me out of church. So if I show up and I take it off, 
Are you going to do something mean to me? We're going to ask you to wear a mask. And in doing that, and in a, 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 abiding by the social distancing guidelines, we're going to ask you to remember that love always protects. And we're doing our best to protect those within our congregation. And speaking of those within our congregation that we're trying to protect, if you're watching this and you would fall into what we would consider the, uh, what the CDC has considered the vulnerable population, the 65 or above, uh, we want you to know uh, that we are really serious about taking good care of you as well. Um, our recommendation uh, in the strongest way is that you continue to enjoy the opportunity to worship either at 9 a.m. or at 10.30 uh, online only. Uh, that for these next few weeks you would continue to be a, a, a thriving and active part of the community here at C3, but you would choose to do that in your own homes. And you may say, well, I'm part of that group. Are you going to kick me out? No, 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 no. We're just going to ask. And we think that's the best way that we can do it. So with grace and with love, we're going to say abide by these guidelines as best you can. And uh, we really hope this is an opportunity to worship together. Will it be different? Yes. Will it be weird? Yeah, probably a little bit. But will it be an opportunity to regather? Absolutely it will. And we'll continue to move forward and we'll continue to reevaluate every week as this goes on and we'll try to figure out what's the best option for us to be able to worship together here at C3. So we hope we'll see you on Sunday and hope you have a great rest of the week. Take care. You thought we were done? Not quite, because we got to tell you guys how to get out of here at the end of the day. So how that's going to go, it's going to be pretty simple. After Shane's done with worship and we get ready to head out of here, those same handsome ushers that helped you come in, well, they're going to help you get out. Imagine you've been to the best wedding you've ever seen in your life, almost like a bride and a groom were married, almost like the church and Christ. <gasps> that's poetic. And as we're headed out, oh, look at that. That was good, Jeff. So you're going to be heading back out the way you came in. And what we're going to ask is as you head out. Oh, oh, that was good. You're really good at this. As you head out, we're going to ask that when you head back into the lobby, um, you take it upon yourself to make sure that you exit all the way out. The lobby, as much as we love for this to be a place that we hang out and congregate on most normal Sundays, uh, this is one of those Sundays that we're going to say, uh, maybe... Maybe don't do it. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how it happens. Uh, oh, look at that. Two thumbs up for Pam. They're going to go talk to one another. They're going to socially distance and congregate in the parking lot. And that's what we're going to ask that you're going to do as well. Um, so there's kind of a run through of what we're thinking about for this, uh, this coming Sunday. We hope for you it'll be an opportunity to, uh, to gather with folks that you love. Uh, we hope for you it'll be an opportunity to worship, uh, to celebrate what God is doing and continues to do in the midst of the life here at C3. And we hope after we finish up, we're only going to go about an hour. I forgot to say this almost. Your kids are welcome. There's no C3 uh, kids programming this Sunday morning or actually through the entire month of June. So your kids will be sitting with you. So we're going to keep it right at an hour. And uh, as you and your family exits, more than likely what you'll see, well, a really good looking group of folks out here happy to have celebrated worship with you and to send you off.